Hoping to buy some souvenirs during your Disney World trip? Here are 29 ideas we love. Now we know that souvenirs are everywhere at Walt Disney World. There's literally a gift shop every time you leave most of the big rides, but we wanted to compile a list of some unique ideas before I get into the list, a couple of things to know. One is when you see something, make sure you buy it because you may not see it again. The other is that in the past, in the before times, you used to be able to send your purchases back to your room if you are an on-site guest. That benefit has not returned. We don't know if it will be. However, you can mail things up. So if you get something that is too big or you're not gonna be able to take it on the plane or whatever, you can mail it from Disney World locations and they will be happy to send that for you. And lastly, you can always check shopdisney.com come after your trip some things are available online but many things are not which goes back to number one buy it when you see it now let's get into the list number one starbucks mugs and tumblers so if you are a starbucks person you know that they have specific cups for locations all over the world and it can be a great souvenir to collect them it is no different at walt disney world where there are starbucks locations in all four parks plus disney springs these mugs and tumblers are very popular, so we highly recommend picking them up as you come across them and don't let it sit. They do switch out the designs ever so often, so if you're looking for a certain series, make sure you get them for all four parks if you're trying to collect it before that style is rotated out for the next version. Souvenir number two, personalized Disney ornaments. There are a couple places at Disney World where you can get personalized Disney ornaments. One is your Christmas shop at Magic Kingdom, and the other is the Christmas store, which is called Disney's Days of Christmas in Disney Springs. At both of these locations, you can get things personalized. The Disney Springs location has a much wider selection because it is a bigger store, but the location of Magic Kingdom allows you to personalize more than ornaments. So pros and cons of each. We highly recommend going early in the day because sometimes it can take hours to get it back. Or if you're going to in a really busy time, we would even suggest going earlier in your trip in case they can't get it done same day. This is also a very useful thing if you want something that specifically says the year because so many things nowadays don't have the year on it they just generically say like Walt Disney World and so for me I really like having things that say the year on it and you can do that through personalization the next few ideas are all related to Avatar or Pandora first of all it is Banshee so if you've ever been to Animal Kingdom in the last several years you might know Flight of Passage has guests riding on Banshees but you can also have a souvenir veneer banshee there's an entire adoption process that guests can go through you can pick from different unique styles of banshees these interactive animals i guess is what we would call them they are controlled by your hand and they can move their heads and their wings and other parts of their body and this can make a really unique gift from animal kingdom souvenir and that is available at wind traders this is the gift shop at animal kingdom also available at wind traders is the avatar maker and basically it is a navi action figure where you can spend a few minutes customizing your own action figure based on yourself or anything that you want to base it on and then they spend some time making the custom action figure for you. You do need to allow about an hour because you have to have the time to customize it and then have it created. It usually takes about an hour. They do have pre-made ones available if you'd like to get those instead. Also at Wind Traders is Navi Custom Jewelry and this is on the lower end of prices for souvenirs but it is really unique. They have beads, feathers, crystals, totems, and pendants for an additional price but you can build your own bracelet or necklace here and and it can make a really fun take home gift for not very much money. Next idea is one that we have loved for many years and that is pick a pearl. And the basic gist of this is that you pay for a pearl to be picked. They open up the oyster and you get to see if you get one or two pearls, what the size is, and then you can optionally have it set in a piece of jewelry if you would like. There are two locations for this. One is in Epcot at the Mitsukashi store in the Japan Pavilion. The other is the Pearl Factory at Disney Springs. We highly recommend
recommend the one in Epcot. It's much more of an experience or a ceremony that is carried out by the cast members that are from Japan there. And we really suggest that over the Disney Springs location. It's really fun, not super expensive. It can start around $20. If you don't want to get a set of the jewelry, you can do something else on your own with it later. But we really recommend this both for the souvenir and the experience. Our next idea is resort specific merchandise. And we are especially a huge fan of this one because a few years ago, Disney tried to do away with it and they didn't have resort specific merchandise and it was a huge bummer, but it is back. And so if you have a resort that you've fallen in love with a resort that you're always traveling back to, etc., we highly recommend picking up something at the resort to commemorate your stay. And that can be something really unique to your trip that you will enjoy once you get home. Next up is carved rings, which you can find in two places. And one of those is in the Mexico Pavilion of Epcot. And another is at a cart called Initial Rings, which is in the Disney Springs Marketplace section. Both of these allow you to customize it starting at $19 and up. You can have it carved with like your symbols or initials, things like that. You can choose between different materials like gold or silver. There is also ready-made jewelry that you can purchase there if you would like to do that instead. Our next idea is to participate in activities at the resorts like painting and tie dine and things like that. The way that you do this is at your Disney World Resort, you ask for the recreation schedule. A lot of times they're just on display, so you might find it on your own. But there is everyday activities listed that you can do, like watching movies out on the lawn. And often those are activities where you can create things, like you can make paintings, make crafts, etc. And these can be really fun activities, but also souvenirs from your trip. Just be sure to check the activity list for your stay and see when those are offered. And now for an edible souvenir idea, which is a tea chest in the Twining store in the UK Pavilion of Epcot. This store is officially called the Tea Caddy and it is the one that sells all the Twinings tea. And the way it works is you create your own tea chest. They give you a wooden box for $19.99 and you can put 10 different types of tea in it. And if you would like, they also have UK and Disney themed teacups and teapots if you want that to go with your tea bags. Another idea for you is that you can build your own Star Wars lightsaber. The most popular location to do this is at Savvy's Workshop in the Galaxy's Edge section of Hollywood Studios. This experience is not cheap and it is not for young kids. It does cost $249 and it is more about not only the lightsaber, which is very high quality, but also the experience. So many people like both. We do recommend making reservations because it is very popular here. And we do, again, recommend not taking young children because it really is not for them. However, there is an option for them that is over in the gift shop that is the exit to Star Tours. They can create one that is more of a toy lightsaber and the cast members can make that fun for a much lower price. Also in Galaxy's Edge, you can build a droid. And this is actually a much better option for young kids as opposed to building the lightsaber at Savvy's Workshop. At the Droid Depot, it costs $119.99 per droid. And we do recommend reservations. This place is a little bit easier to get into without a reservation if you don't have one than Savvy's Workshop, but we do recommend it if you know that you want to go. And when you go there, you get to choose between BB series units or R series units, and you can assemble your unit with all different parts from the conveyor belt. I have a purple BB series unit, and it is really fun. And you can take it home with you, much more kid-friendly than the lightsabers. How about some personalized Mickey ears? There are lots of places to do this at Walt Disney World, including Curtain Claw Collectibles, The Old Christmas Shop, and Fantasy Fair and Magic Kingdom. And then in Disney Springs, there is Disney's Wonderful World of Memories. The pricing varies a lot depending on what you're doing because you could have a name monogrammed, you can have different Mickey ears, Mickey hats, you could have things written on the ears, all different variations. So it's really gonna depend on what you want. We do recommend that you go earlier in the day because it can take some time depending on how many orders they have and that way you can get it back while you're still near that location. We highly recommend this as a great memento for a Disney World trip. What about silhouettes that you can get done in the parks or at least the Magic Kingdom and in Disney Springs? You will be amazed how affordable and quick this one is. You can find this in two places at Magic Kingdom. One is in Liberty Square and one is on Main Street. There is also a location in the marketplace section of Disney 
Disney Springs. These are $12 for a silhouette, and then you can spend extra to have it framed if you would like. They also have characters nearby in the Liberty Square location. This is a very fast thing that won't take you much time. For a lot of families, they do these over the years, so you can see how your children's spaces change and make a great souvenir that you can kind of see the progression of over time. How about personalized waterproof parasols? You can find this at a cart in Liberty Square in Magic Kingdom. It is $14.95 for a mini parasol, $18.95 for a large parasol plus tax. The price includes your name, hearts and flowers. Additional artwork can be added for an additional fee. And these are pretty even without the personalization. So adding it just makes it extra special. And during certain times of year, you may even spot seasonal designs available for the parasols. How about some glass keepsakes from the Germany Pavilion in Epcot? This is available at Glaskunst. I'm hoping saying that close to correct, which is the little kiosk that is out in front of the Germany Pavilion closer to the water. And the way that this works is that you go to this interactive glass art station, which is what they call themselves, and you can design your own decorative fused glass keepsake. After you purchase the project, you will then get to choose from a variety of glass pieces to customize your artwork. Would you like to press some coins? It is one of our all time favorite things, especially with little kids, because it can be found everywhere throughout Walt Disney World and it is not super expensive. It does cost more than it used to. It is now starting at $1 per coin. Some sets are $5 for eight coins, but you can find them everywhere. These machines do accept credit cards now, so you don't have to bring coins with you if you don't want to, but these are a great little souvenir and many people like to collect them. Engraved glass items are an option and available in several locations at Walt Disney World. These locations include Kunstarbeit in a Germany Pavilion. I'm sorry if I'm, I'm totally messing up these names. La Princesa de Cristal in the Mexico Pavilion, Crystal Arts on Main Street, and La Princesa de Cristal Cart in Adventureland at Magic Kingdom as well as the Crystal Arts location in Disney Springs. If you don't wanna travel home with these fragile items, they do offer home delivery for an additional fee. These shops and cards sell the items that you can then engrave if you want a more personal touch. They have crystal figurines, tiaras, jewelry, and other things available. Many of these locations have Ariba's Brothers crystal and glassware on sale, including cut crystal, blown glass, and crystal figurines. How about some pins, P-I-N's pins? You may have heard of pin trading at Walt Disney World where people arrive during their trip and they have a set of pins and they trade them with cast members throughout which is definitely an option, but you also might just want to have pins that are souvenirs. They are sold throughout Walt Disney World, but the largest location is at Disney's Pin Traders, which is in the marketplace section of Disney Springs. Starter sets are available for purchase, or you might just want to get specific souvenirs to remember your trip by. And one of the most popular souvenirs at Walt Disney World are the popcorn buckets. These are available at most popcorn cart station around the parks. The pricing on these varies, but standard buckets are usually $13 with the specialty buckets costing more than that. They are refillable with refills costing $2.25. You can even bring old ones if you wanna have them refilled. The popcorn buckets are definitely really popular and so when a new design comes out that people want, just be prepared for a little bit of a wait. They are really cute and make for fun decorations during special times of the year, or you can use them at home or your classroom or your office for storage. And as a memento of your trip. Next up is a soap dispenser that dispenses soap in the shape of a Mickey. This used to be something that you could only get in like Etsy shops and Instagram shops, but now Disney sells it. It starts at $19.99. Sometimes you can find it on sale. It is located in various gift shops around the parks and hotels. Just as a tip, make sure that you pack it in your checked luggage if you are flying because the soap dispensers are filled with liquid and exceed the 3.4 ounce limits that the TSA has. Are you a Disney World trash can fan? You can get salt and pepper shakers in the designs of the trash cans. They are sold in multiple locations, but they can usually be spotted in the Emporium at Magic Kingdom and Creation Shop at Epcot, which are two big shops in those parks. They cost about $12.99 per shaker and just note that they are sold individually, not as a set. So make sure you pick up both if you want to take home both. Another idea is animal wood carvings and handmade jewelry. These items are available in a few 
few spots at Walt Disney World. One is at Animal Kingdom at the Mombasa Marketplace. Another is at Epcot in the Outpost area of the World Showcase. And also the main gift shop at Animal Kingdom Lodge, which is called Zawadi Marketplace. The pricing is going to vary completely depending on what you pick up. You can actually watch the carvers in action, which we recommend that you do because it is fascinating to watch them work. We think this is just one of the most unique and cool and authentic souvenirs you can get at Walt Disney World. Similar to the Avatar or Pandora Avatar Maker action figure souvenir that I mentioned earlier is the Tron Identity Program. This is located at Magic Kingdom near the Tron ride, as you might expect. It is in the Tomorrowland Launch Depot, which is in Tomorrowland at Magic Kingdom. These are $89.99 per action figure. We do recommend reservations. You can book those online. There are a limited number of same day reservations, which may be available up to two hours in advance. Walk-ins could also be accommodated depending on availability. It allows you to create an action figure that looks and sounds just like you. It includes an image capture, which will scan your facial features, the chance to select a helmet and body configuration, and whether or not you will be an enforcer, a combatant, a scout, or a heavy sentry. You can even choose your team color along with recording six lines of dialogue in your own voice. It takes about 20 minutes to make your selections. Once you have made all your choices, it'll be ready in about an hour. How about taking home some Disney art? You may spot art all around the Walt Disney World parks and resorts, but you can have some at home with you. It is available in a few different spots, including box office gifts and bajour village gifts at Magic Kingdom. There is the Art of Disney, which is in the American Adventure Pavilion of Epcot, and the Art of Disney, which is in the Marketplace section of Disney Springs. Home delivery is available if you don't want to have to take it home with you. There are lots of Disney artists and they create all kinds of things based on special Disney moments, characters, Disney parks, icons, etc. We highly recommend this as a great souvenir option that is different than what you might normally expect. One of the least expensive options is the Tomorrowland Speedway license, which can be great for young kids. This is located near the exit of the Tomorrowland Speedway at Magic Kingdom. It costs just $6. It's a fun activity where they get to have their own little driver's license created in a photo booth. You simply step inside, pay, and a license print out as your keepsake. How does engraved perfume bottles sound as a souvenir. This is a fun option that is available in the France Pavilion of Epcot in the Plume et Palette store. It is complimentary as long as you purchase the fragrance that is offering it. You can ask the shop to see the calendar for upcoming engraving opportunities. It is also only available on certain days, so you just have to make sure that you are in the right place at the right time, buying the right item, and get the engraving for free. Do we have any Living with the Land fans? If so, you might enjoy Mickey's Mini Garden, which is sold in the Land Pavilion as you exit the Living with the Land ride at the desk where the Behind the Seeds tour is booked, which is kind of right in between Soren and Living with the Land. These are only $14 and make a really affordable souvenir. It's a test tube grown from a regeneration of cells from a parent plant, so you can regenerate or grow your own plant. You can choose several options options like an orchid, cactus, dragon fruit, or a tiger lily. And we think this is super cute for plant lovers. And finally, we highly recommend party and festival exclusive merchandise. The party exclusive merchandise would be at Magic Kingdom during the Halloween party and Christmas party, or at Epcot, all of the festivals have exclusive merchandise. And there's almost always a festival going on over at Epcot. The pricing really varies and it changes every single year. So you can get something that is exclusive to the current festival or the current party. Some stuff is very popular, so you might want to get it at as soon as you see it. Some of the events also have things like exclusive art. For instance, at Festival of the Arts, you might have a special Disney artwork that is only available then. And that wraps up our list of unique souvenir ideas. Do you have something you got on a trip that you would recommend to other people or any questions about some of the things that we talked about here? Feel free to leave those in the comment. Thanks for watching.